abuse is not always a direct form of aggression and can often occur in other forms of neglect. The result can also lead to other issues such as homelessness, medical costs and the inability to attend work, school and other essential activities. In these situations, any offer of help or a solution to abuse of any kind are appreciated. Sometimes this can be found by offering support and consideration for those being abused. Injustice is humbled to welcome back Jeff to the show again, who speaks for many who have encountered abuse and serious issues. Today he discusses an old age topic about certain issues within rental properties. While hosting the We Are Change talk show, I received a phone call from a woman in Western Australia who moved into a housing commission house that was found to have eight out of 10 of the most toxic molds known to mankind. This house not, was not assessed before she moved in and she was struck down with aspergillosis type symptoms. Not just herself, but her son as well. And then he was unable to complete his final end of year exams at his school. So this has had a significant effect, very detrimental on their livelihood. And now they are both living in a caravan on a vacant block of land. So proper methods weren't used to test for mold. And the landlord simply said, clean the mold off yourself, scrub it off with vinegar. And to request that she clean that off herself is really uh, out of the question. Jeff, when you receive a call like you do through We Are Change, what do you want We Are Change to do for your callers? And in this case, how do you think We Are Change can help her? Well, in this case, many listeners, I'd assume, were not uh, well adversed when it comes to testing for mould. When it comes to the listeners, uh, mould, it really brought that to the forefront and then they were able to not only look at the dangers that toxic mould poses to one's health, but they can you know, look and check their own house for water damaged areas, condensation, and uh, have that assessed so they don't get struck down like this particular caller. As a representative of We Are Change, how else can justice be served from the system? Well, thorough methods need to be put in place before people move into houses that are not viable for them to be living in. That place should have been condemned. She had over $8,000 worth of belongings that were ruined because of the mould. And when she sought uh, attention from a medical health professional, they were not trained in noticing symptoms related to mould. So then she was labelled as a hypochondriac. And you know, for somebody that's already suffering, that's an added level of stress that they should not have to deal with. Absolutely. So multiple complaints were made to Homes West in regards to this, and she has not found any resolution, unfortunately. Jeff, how many callers do you have in response to stories like this? Did you, have you found that the housing issues are a constant with We Are Change? There is numerous calls, a myriad of different problems and corruption that people have experienced. I get a lot of comments from people showing empathy to what she is going through. Even people that have been suffering that from themselves, they know firsthand just how dangerous the mould is. So that uh, provides a union and a community for not only the caller, but people that have suffered as well to share their stories. And that is comforting to know that somebody else has been in that same predicament and they can share skills and what they went through to overcome that. So Jeff, to reinforce for all of our viewers today about what can be done, how can We Are Change assist people? Well, we provided a list of associated symptoms that stem from mould, so people can uh, look at that uh, we provide ways of dealing with similar situations. In this case, I recommended she file a notice to remedy breach form. So then an investigation will be imminent and this will be addressed. But to ask a tenant to uh, address these serious issues, there should be OH&S rules that apply. And that's gonna increase her health issues tenfold. 
and uh, she was bedridden. She's been admitted to hospital, as well as her son. I'm I'm thinking about myself and all the rental properties I've lived in over my life, particularly my twenties. But I'm thinking also about all the different legislations in each state and how the renters are protected and renters' rights. It would be great if we could have anyone from the other side of the system to come forward and sit with us so they can talk to us and maybe share some information and different um, resources for tenants to be able to access more uh, support. And I'm just thinking also about this, her young son. That's right. And how it's affected his studies. His HSC was over. He couldn't complete that. And that's going to affect his life permanently. An interesting thing that I've heard from all three of your stories today is about the psychological effects of the injustices that you've experienced. And what I'm hearing is that you've taken your well-being into your own hands. I'm curious about what is out there, what's accessible for people to maintain their psychological health. Would you be able to suggest, Jeff, in your opinion of representing We Are Change, what are accessible psychological support systems out there for? Well, as a trigger warning for people that are viewing this program, there are organisations such as Lifeline and Kids Helpline that can assist people. Jeff, can you tell me how justice could or should have been served in this case? Well, the residents should have been thoroughly assessed for any trace of mould whatsoever. That place should have been livable. Thank you so much for joining us again, Jeff. The stories that you bring are really important and the work that you do. You three are exceptional people who are actively seeking change and thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure and I hope that for everyone out there that you can find hope and you can also find support from what you've heard from us today. I'm Janelle De Silva. Thank you for joining us. This is the Injustice Series.